guys, Trevor Foster once again, part of the Facebook Samurai here, okay? And this module, okay, it seems pretty simplistic, but every little tweak that you make is going to make you stand out that much more uh, and be a, a very unique presence out there, okay? So what you can see here is, I'm gonna get into a couple things. The first thing is adding emojis to your posts, okay? Emojis, like they're, they're so powerful and, and <laughs> it sounds like a, a, such a small thing, but just text by itself, uh, people are scrolling through your news, like through their newsfeed all the time, and the, you have to stop them. And the only way to really get their attention is through a couple techniques nowadays. So, one of them is definitely through emojis. So I have when I do editing, okay, I'm editing this video because I forgot to put my emojis in because I uploaded this video from a phone really quick, and now I'm on my computer. I'm gonna put emojis through on my computer. On the phone is pretty easy, right? Because you have a keyboard, you can put your emojis in really easily, you know how to do that. On the computer though, and uh, I do a lot of work from the computer, at the same time I can do a lot from the phone, but I just like, uh, I can be faster in, in a lot of ways on you know utilizing the computer uh, when marketing. So the thing is, is I get Emoji Keyboard by Emoji One. You can go to the Chrome Web Store and get this. I definitely suggest Chrome. And getting a couple of, uh, getting a couple extensions. I'm gonna go through a couple extensions in this video, by the way, also. Uh, so it's kind of a two-part module. Uh, the first extension is this Emoji Keyboard. And the reason I like this so much is because I can search for emojis really quick, okay? So I can actually search, like, Windy. Wind doesn't come, Wind, right? Wind actually comes up and I, I can get this. I can copy it in. I can copy actually two emojis and throw them right in there. Uh, they look kind of weird right now because I actually have a, uh, you know, a darkness, uh, dark theme on Facebook right now. I love the dark themes. Uh, the white themes are way too bright for my eyes, and I can just I can uh, work on this a lot easier. So that's what they would look like, okay, up here as you can see. Uh, that's what it's going to look like to people. So. I'm going to put this over here, maybe this over here, and uh, so I want to put, you know, an emoji at the very beginning. I always put an emoji at the very beginning before you say anything, and then try to, uh, you know, if you had a, like a paragraph, let's say, I'm going to go down, I'm going to show you another post that I made. Like this one, I actually make it so I try to put an emoji on, on the, the beginning of each, um, kind of new sentence that I, I build up here, okay? So that's a good way to put it, a good way to do it. Another way to, to really get into it is like uh, right here, peaceful serenade, right? Peace. I could put this peace sign and I could have injected a peace sign right there, okay? Uh, the context of your sentences, you can inject emojis based on that too. I really do suggest doing this. Okay, because it really does make your post stand out uh, a lot more. Uh, this one too, okay, this little, this little finger emoji pointing towards links and stuff like that, which I don't really condone links in your posts, but uh, even a link in your bio, it depends on what you're doing. This is my, my own branding and everything too, right, in my own company, so I have my link there. But if you're, doing, uh, if you're promoting another business that you don't own, uh, I definitely don't suggest putting a link there, okay, for that. I would put a link to your own branded website, which I definitely encourage you to have a website. I design websites, okay, as very aesthetically pleasing, uh, very futuristic if you want them to be, uh, but also very engaging and eye-catching. So people are really excited about that. I'm very passionate about designing websites and building people's brands that way. But uh, so I'm gonna do this. So peaceful though, so I do have the peace sign still, don't I? So that's all I'm gonna do for this, okay? So putting my little emojis in there is definitely going to attract more attention. Okay, on this little video, I, I just did about the, uh, the high winds that are coming through, that are blowing through Costa Rica in the, the dry season. So that's that's it there. Okay, and uh, so just add emojis to your posts. Okay, that's a very small strategy. Okay, but this is the Facebook Samurai way. Every little bit counts to edge yourself. Uh, you know, really get yourself to. Uh, create a unique brand presence for you out there, okay? Uh, so these are a couple extensions. I'm going to go to the Chrome Web Store really quick here, okay? Chrome.google.com slash Web Store. Type in Chrome Web Store on Google, okay, to get here. 
They should have an easier access to it, actually. It should be right here. I don't know why they don't have, like, a big store thing right here or something. You think they would want to make money. These are all free, though. <laughs> so the emoji keyboard, I just type in emoji for this one. And that was the one, Emoji Keyboard by Emoji One. It has a little unicorn as its as its uh, its uh, icon. But definitely would get that because you can search for any. There's so many emojis out there. You can search like stop, and they'll give you a stop sign. Okay, you can search car. It'll give you a should give you a car. There's a truck, vehicle, and then I get a car right there. All the vehicles. It's pretty amazing. Happy. I can even type in the Costa Rica flag here. It's amazing. So guys, the next extension that you're gonna wanna get, I would definitely suggest if you're gonna be working from your computer and you have even multiple devo devices that you might work on that have Chrome on them, uh, definitely get the reminders. I definitely suggest setting reminders, okay, for your follow-ups, especially, okay, so to follow up with people, because follow-up, the follow-up is where the gold is, that's where you're going to make all your money, and if you don't follow up correctly and you forget about certain things, cer uh, certain people, then you're, you're not going to really build a big business that way, so uh, the way to really automate that process is just use your phone and make sure to set reminders using your voice, okay, so like set a reminder for 8 p.m., and then it says, what do you want to set a reminder for? Type in the person's name. Uh, type in follow up. Maybe maybe it's a potential sale uh, and they're warmed up and they're ready to maybe buy. Type in the potential's name and then type in uh, may buy very soon or something like that. Just to, uh, so you know you have more priority. Like when a, when a notification comes up, you know how high or low of a priority it is, okay, as far as in regards to that follow up. As far as uh, reminders, I have reminders. Okay, this is a really cool extension and even if I'm not in Chrome, okay, or if I have a minimize or something, on Windows 10 here, it'll actually give me a notification at the very bottom, okay, for somebody I have to maybe follow up with. And it's very powerful, okay? So I'm going to get this, uh, what is it called again? Reminders, this was called. So I'm going to get, where is it exactly? So this is what it is, reminders. It has a little blue bell, nothing is forgotten. And so this is a very beautiful little extension I definitely would suggest for Chrome. Another one is that darkness, okay? So that uh, if you want, it's up to you guys, but it makes Google dark, it makes YouTube dark, uh, it makes Facebook dark, all the, the kind of the main websites that you might be navigating. YouTube actually has its own, you can just switch to dark uh, right now through your account, like uh, on the top right. But regardless, this actually allows for you know dark websites all around the internet for it. Well, Facebook, Google, YouTube, Gmail, Google Drive, Messenger. And so I definitely uh, suggest that. Beautiful dark themes for Facebook, Google, and more. And then one more is if you want to not be completely belittled by people, and the fact that you are maybe busy, but you've seen somebody's message, you can't do this from the phone, but when you're on the computer, you can actually have it where People don't, uh, you, people don't see the fact that you didn't see their message maybe, okay? So you can review people's messages and look at the entire thread without them seeing that little scene notification at the very bottom, okay? And so I, I use this, I mean, I, I really get, I get back to, pay, uh, back to people as fast as I can. But sometimes, you know, I have to read the message before uh, prioritizing maybe that message, okay? Because sometimes I have higher priority messages I have to get back to first. And so that, this is what allows for that, okay? Unseen for Facebook. So just look for that image, exactly. There's some other ones, but I, I believe that this one is the best one. Has the most ratings, and it's four and a half star. So that's, that's it, guys. I mean, I definitely suggest these extensions, suggest that, uh, you know, putting emojis in your posts, okay? And, and uh, even in your comments, really stand out a little more, okay? Uh, just don't take a lot of time with it, okay? So guys, hope you like this module. On to the next one.